Hi guys, Stanley here. Today we're going to investigate why Zoom video communication is one of the best performing stock this year. Let's go! Hello again, how are you guys? Today we have another stock analysis for you. If you have missed our analysis on Singapore Airlines last week, do check it out here. Today is all about Zoom video communication and how I see this stock. Zoom video has been one of the biggest winner in 2020. Despite a stock market collapse, Zoom video communication has seen its stock price shot up close to 100% over the past few months. And this company is just nine years old. And its history goes back to its founder, Eric Yuan. My name is Eric Yuan. I'm the founder and CEO of Zoom Video Communications. Eric was working with Cisco in the WebEx team, Cisco Video Conferencing Division. But in the job, he heard directly from customers on why they are not satisfied with WebEx. This is because times are changing and people are connecting to video calls through different devices. But WebEx has been built in the PC era. Eric then did the logical thing. He quit Cisco and started Zoom Video Communication. He is an experienced manager. He knows what the customer wants and he has the right network in the industry. So he was able to form strong partnership and grow Zoom very fast. By the time they IPO'd in 2019, Zoom already has a profitable business. It has a revenue of 330 million and a profit of 7.6 million in the financial year in 2019. But Zoom IPO'd at a very high valuation, at 35 times sales and 1,000 times its earning. But until today, Zoom has defied logic and continued to rally. Why is it so special? At the heart of it, Zoom has a very simple product and they have a viral component built into it. When a user invites a guest, a guest doesn't even need an account to join in the meeting. In this way, it allows more people to try out the product, letting it gain its popularity. And on a longer term trend, the world has been talking about moving business online for a long time. But there has never really been a strong urgency for companies to do that. Not until today. The pandemic is really forcing companies to change and that has accelerated Zoom's growth. Microsoft is doubling down its challenge with Skype Meet Now function and also Microsoft Teams. And Google has always had Hangout, Meet, Duo. I can't remember what name it is now. Google stopped renaming the same product. Internally, Zoom is also facing a lot of challenges because of its ultra-fast growth, its service has attracted hackers and vulnerabilities has been found in the service. I'm sure over time, they'll be able to work out the bugs. I'm sorry, was that your auntie? But it shows that Zoom was also taken by surprise from its own growth. Moreover, the company is still very dependent on just one product. It is essentially a one product company and that is a very risky proposal for investors. And its valuation is hard to swallow. It's now trading at about 50 times sales and more than 1,300 times its earning. If you think that its valuation is high during its IPO, I do not know what to call it now. But even after all that, I'm not saying that the company will be a bad investment. I'm just saying that investors is expecting a lot of big things coming from Zoom. Zoom can still surprise its investors. After all, they never plan to be just a one product company. They are using Zoom video as the start to roll out more services for their enterprise customers, both software and hardware. If we think of Amazon in the past, it started out as just a book retailer, then moving on to become the everything store and moving on to Amazon Web Services to Prime Membership, to videos, and global domination. So the same thesis can happen for Zoom as well. But 
As investors, we don't have to jump into every exciting opportunity that comes our way. We have to find stock that is suitable for us. And for me, I ask myself, how many Amazon are there really in the world? I definitely see the merit for Zoom video communication, but I also see the risks with this company. And so I end up investing in a safer company, but also a competitor to Zoom, Microsoft Corporation. Developers, 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 developers. For one, Microsoft already have a large suite and established product line. It is also into hardware and very successful with its Surface and Xbox devices. It is also growing fast at 24% a year over the past three years. So basically, Microsoft is what Zoom hope it will be when it's successful. So instead of hoping that Zoom will one day become Microsoft, wouldn't it be safer to just invest in Microsoft? <laughs> we have actually shared a long detailed report on Microsoft within our VIA club for hundreds of our members. But in this video, there's only one lesson I want to share with you, which is it is always exciting to invest in new growth company like Zoom. And when we win big, we earn huge bragging rights. But investing in this kind of company also come with great risks. Risks that sometimes we do not even understand ourselves. So if you're a new investor, I will really urge you to start with safer stock first to build up your core portfolio. And then later on, we can venture into new growth stock like Zoom video communication. If you want to learn more about investing, we actually have a free video course just for you. Click on the link below to get started on your first lesson. That's it from me. My name is Stanley. Till we meet again, invest safely.